Peter, how's it going today? Pretty good, thank you. Yes, the sun is shining in California. Oh, beautiful California. I am in New York where it's a little a little chillier than California, but um, I'm excited to talk with you because you've had an amazing career in Hollywood, um, everything from The Patriot down the line, National Treasure, and we're going to talk about your new movie, um, Dolphin Island, today. But I wanted to ask you, and this is sort of, it's probably a loaded question to start with, but I'm, I'm intrigued because you've had such a long history. Um, what has been the most rewarding part of your, of your Hollywood career? You know, um, I would have to say, actually, it's the writing, um, which is pretty unusual for a Hollywood writer to say that. <laughs> it's, um, but I've, uh, I've always been an actor who did other things. I used to do a lot of fights and stunts uh, when I was younger and uh, fitter. <laughs> and um, and uh, lately, especially, I've been doing a lot of acting and writing together. And um, of course, I love acting. I, you know, I will keep doing it and, uh, and enjoy it. Um, but the extraordinary feeling of, of writing a movie or a TV series and actually seeing that on the screen, um, that, that's, uh, that's something that's hard to beat, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. The, the idea of being able to actually put those words to paper, put those words on paper into characters and to bring that to life. That seems like a pretty unique experience. Yes, it is. I mean, I think it's a great advantage for a writer like me to have been an actor or to still be an actor. Um, and uh, of course, you've got to realize it's a, it's a completely different process. You know, it's uh, um, when you're acting, it's you there, you know, you on the screen or you on the stage. And of course, you, you may take direction from others, of course, and you're working with others. But at the same time, it's you. <laughs> you're out there. Whereas when you're writing, it's only your words. Any words have to go through this incredible filtration process of the director and the actors and what they want from it and the changes they make. And um, and so, it, it, you know, you can never be too precious about what you write, especially for the screen. Um, but it, it's it's just amazing to see, you know, um, something that you've written be created, um, you know, in the minds and uh, and and the work of, of others. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, Hollywood writers, just screenwriters generally, are the most um, disrespected people, basically, in the whole process. You know, everyone wants to know the writer, you know, before they actually get the script. As soon as they've got the script, <laughs> forget it. <laughs> then you move on. Well, and know. they're the most important. I mean, they're among the they most really important people in that without the writers, there's no story. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? I mean, they I mean, really are. Um, and it's, uh, but it's, it's just, it's, that's always been the way most writers, you know, like to keep um, more or less undercover, you know, they don't, they don't want or need a huge publicity presence in any way. Um, but what, what that means is that because of their shyness, uh, um, that, you know, if I asked you your favorite 10 movies, well, you might be able to tell me one writer out of the 10, maybe, you know, maybe not. <laughs> um, and that's just the way it is. You just, as a writer, you just have to kind of accept that, you know, nobody's, you're never going to be famous as a writer. <laughs> well, and it's interesting that you've done, that you've done multiple things, right? So you, you know, you know, all of these different worlds pretty well. And now you have a new movie, Dolphin Island. Talk to me a little bit about that. How did you come into that project and what has it meant for you? Well, um, my great friend, Mike Deeser, who's a director who I've worked with a lot, um, I've done a lot of uh, live action and animation, in fact, with him. Um, he just asked me to to, to come on board, and um, I uh, looked at the script and uh, liked the script and, and you know enjoyed it. And um, uh, he wanted me to play a grandfather, and of course, I told him I was far too young. I didn't know what he was possibly thinking <laughs> of, but he managed to persuade me. Um, my first grandfather, so that's all right. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, he got me on board, and you know, and then he said we're shooting the Bahamas. So I said I'm already on board, and so, uh, <laughs> right. I mean, that's just yeah, like I'm I'm on my way, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And of course, it was we literally finished shooting it just a few weeks before COVID really came in and stopped the business. You know, so we were very lucky to get it done. Yeah, very lucky to get it done, especially in the chaos of, of all of that. It's really um, yeah. appended everything, you know, in Hollywood. And so you know, tell us a little bit. So for those who don't know about Dolphin Island, first, tell us a little bit about your character, which you gave us a little hint. It's your first <laughs> grandfather role, which is pretty cool. Uh, but tell us also a little bit about the film for those who aren't familiar. 
Sure. Well, um, basically, uh, it's about a a young girl and who has lost her parents, and her grandfather, me, has taken over, and uh, they live a fairly kind of idyllic life. Really, he's not rich; he's given up everything. He lives on a boat. Um, they go out fishing. She goes to school. Um, they live a, a you know a fairly contented Bahamas lifestyle, especially as her best friend is a dolphin in the dolphin sanctuary. Um, and of course, so we, we got to work with these dolphins, which is amazing. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But the um, the other set of grandparents who are very rich and live in New York um, think that they should now take a hand. So they come down to the Bahamas and try and, and take the girl away from the grandfather, which neither the grandfather nor the girl nor the dolphins like. <laughs> um, and uh, so that that's the sort of the basis of the story. Um, and... Uh, um, it's really um, how how that story resolves um, uh, with the help of, uh, of various friends on the island and various dolphin interventions. Well, it's so now I need to about know it. about the dolphins. Like I, now, yeah. I want to know what it was like to work with you know these amazing um, dolphins. Yeah. Well, I mean, the great thing is that this is a it, it's a family movie. You know, it's one of the few movies you can watch with your young kids and still enjoy it as an adult. Um, and of course. The thing that the kids enjoy most of all, I think, is the dolphins. And I've got to say, I had never swum with dolphins before this movie. And um, we went to a dolphin sanctuary in the Bahamas, which uh, allows dolphins to get out into the ocean whenever they want to. So it's absolutely, you know, uh, they're in very good, they're very well looked after and they're free to go if they want to. None of them do. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the feeling of swimming in the open ocean with a dolphin who you know is kind of wel welcoming you into his or her environment you know and uh, they if they've got these crazy smiles at all times you know dolphins it's difficult to know quite what they're feeling but i tell you you look in their eye and you see intelligence you see you know they're mammals like us and they've got a, a really good brain and they really use it i mean some of the things that those dolphins were trained to do and you know enjoy doing they want to do it they like playing but some of the things were just extraordinary um and we even asked uh you know we we asked for a totally new thing that they hadn't been trained to do um and we wanted to throw something in the water a bit of garbage and we wanted the dolphin to pick up the garbage on its nose and put it back on the quayside. And the trainer said, well, never done it before, but let's try it. <laughs> and sure enough, we threw this garbage in the water and the, 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 the trainer made some signals and the dolphin just came under and lifted it up, put it on the quayside. And we thought, this is incredible. You know? Amazing. <laughs> never done that before. And, and the feeling of being with a dolphin in, in the water, especially in the open ocean, is just amazing. It's, it's, I can't really describe it, but you look in their eyes and they know that you're out of your element. You know, and they they help you. They they uh, That's come amazing. alongside, you, give you a fin. They're so, you know, they're so a intelligent. Fin. They're, they're incredibly so intelligent. intelligent. I mean, it's and what you're describing. I mean, what an amazing experience. And I know that you guys also. So you you mentioned finishing up right before COVID. Mm -hmm. You also had obviously gone and filmed this after Hurricane Dorian. Talk a little bit about. I know you you've all given back in a way. The film has given back to the community. Can you speak to that at all? Yes. I mean, um, one of the reasons why I was, you know, very pleased to go and, and work in the Bahamas, um, aside from it being a beautiful place and beautiful people, was that, yeah, I mean, the Bahamas were hit pretty hard by Dorian. We were on the Grand Bahama Island, which, although it was hit hard, was not hit nearly as hard as some of the smaller islands further down, which were just devastated. And um, the, you know, the people were coming back. They, they were rebuilding. I mean, they, they're used to hurricanes, but Dorian was something, you know, uh, extremely uh, uh, destructive and much more violent than usual. Um, and um, so, you know, the people were really coming back. And um, the uh, the island was, was, you know, getting into gear again and welcoming tourists back. And it was just beginning to, to really start again. And of course, then COVID hits. So you know, we're still in touch with with our friends there, um, and just saying, well, you know, as um, soon as this is over, <laughs> we can start making movies again. You know, yeah, uh, then I yeah. hope a lot of people will make movies in the Bahamas because it's a great place to work. 
Well, and a be- I mean, a beautiful place to work as well. Mm-hmm. And so what are you hoping? I mean, you mentioned, you gave us the synopsis of the film. You told us a little bit about your character. And so we've got a great idea of what we can expect from the movie. What are you hoping people take away in terms of the moral of the story, right? What are you hoping viewers think and feel when they're done watching Dolphin Island? Well, you know, I mean, there are there are a, num- a number of, of messages if you want to find them. You know um, about uh, uh, treating um, animals and creatures in the same way as we're taught, where we treat each other, um, and you know various family messages. Uh, I think which is important, especially for a, a very large number of kids. You know who don't have a normal family of of two adults. You know who who may be married. You know um, a lot of kids these days have have families that are split apart, and and you know the various bits of the family come together and. It's difficult and it's confusing, and um, I think it tackles that. Um, but I, I also think that, to be honest, the greatest message you could take away from any movie is: I, were you entertained by it? You know, did you enjoy it? You know, were you able to sit down with your family and have you know an hour and a half of of entertainment where you didn't have to cover your child's eyes from time to time, you know, or weren't embarrassed to be sitting with them? Um, and I think that's the really important message: you know, that it, it's that entertainment is very important. Um, to us all, especially we found that in the past year, you know, where um, yeah. a lot of us and a lot of our kids have been completely buried in in computers and tablets and so on. Um, and it's actually important to have, you know, the time when the family can get together and either do something together or watch something together or hopefully more and more go out together. Um, you know, I think that's a very important thing. I think that's quite enough message, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, thank you so much for your time. I so appreciate it and appreciate you making this film. Not at all. Thank you very much. Thank you.